All right, everybody, and welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. So today we're going to be talking about the AK-47. A lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, Turbo, what about the AK-47? Do you have an AK-47 class? What do you think about it? So today we're going to get into the stats of the AK-47, including what are the best barrels to use for the fastest hit detection and which attachment combo do I need to control that recoil as much as possible, as well as recommended class setups that I do have for the AK-47. So the AK-47 is a bit of a special case, and we're going to get into that later on in the video. So if you guys do enjoy the content and you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like on the video. It shows me I'm doing something right. And also, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make your way back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I always like to show how I test out the barrels for bullet velocity. Main reason why bullet velocity is super important is because it directly tells us how fast the bullets are actually hitting our target with the specified barrel, especially with bullet velocity. The more bullet velocity you have, the faster the bullet should hit the target. So with assault rifles, we generally don't have that problem, but with SMGs, that definitely is a huge problem so i'm just going to walk you guys through my testing in real time and then we're going to transfer over to my editing software just to show you how i figure out how fast bullets are moving so with this one this is the ak-47 with no barrel attachments on it whatsoever so we're just going to play it here and this is at 134 meters which is the exact same distance that i tested pre-patch just so we can get a comparison to see if the barrels are still working as intended so here we go this is just uh, real time uh no barrel as you can see how slow that was, listen. There's the second bullet. And then we're going to do it a third time. Now I'm going to switch to a Liberator barrel, which gives us 100% bullet velocity. All right, so we should see this bullet hit pretty instantly. There it is. And the third one. So as you can see, the bullets are hitting noticeably faster when you put on different barrels on it. And that's what I test for. All right. So the main thing to focus on here is the amount of ammo there is in the magazine right now, which is 28. As soon as that drops down to 27, that's when the timer here at the top of the screen is going to start. And then as soon as we see that first hit marker, that's when the timer is going to stop. And then that's how we know how long it took for the bullet to travel from the barrel to our target. So we're gonna go here frame by frame. We're gonna take a look at that magazine. There it is, it dropped down to 27. The timer has started, so we're still going frame by frame. We're approaching 100 milliseconds, still nothing. All right, and there is our first hit marker at 200 milliseconds. So I'm gonna write this value down. You saw in the real-time testing, I shot the bullet three times. So I'm gonna to have to repeat this process two more times. Then we're gonna add up all three values, get the average of that, and then that's gonna be the average time it took for our bullet to hit our target using that specific barrel. So like I was saying earlier, assault rifles in the game generally don't have too many issues with bullet velocity. That's usually prevalent with SMGs, so that's the good news. And also with the testing of the AK-47 pre and post patch, I didn't really see too many you know, crazy differences between the average values here. So that's why it's always good to just double check everything test out every single individual barrel just to make sure that they are working as intended last thing we want is to be using a barrel that increases our bullet velocity but it actually hits a lot slower than it should so the reinforced barrel is the barrel that i do advise you guys to use mainly because it still extends your damage range out to about 70 meters which is sufficient enough because most of our gunfights happen within 40 meters anyway and then anything beyond that you know we still want to have that insurance of extending that damage range out there because the ak-47 has incredibly fast time to to kill it's up there with the Farah 83 i would say it's very competitive actually with the Farah 83 so if we extend that damage range is definitely going to make it super viable now the liberator barrel clearly gives us the best hit detection it was pretty consistent all throughout the testing at 117 milliseconds and it is the fastest hit detection possible but it is not the barrel that i recommend 100 you got to go with the reinforced best rpk does hit a little bit faster than the reinforced but it's not worth using in my opinion because it does dramatically reduce your recoil control and also the damage increase that it gives you it's not going to reduce the time to kill whatsoever so do not be fooled by that stat line all right so next i want to talk about the recoil pattern comparison on the ak-47 so i did something a little different here than my usual i tested out all the muzzles which are in yellow under barrels are in red and here in the green is what the spetsnaz compensator plus all the under barrels would look like if you combine them and then here we have the kgb plus all the under barrels what it would look like this is what i did new i put on a suppressor plus the under barrels just to see what the recoil patterns would look like if they would vary differently first of all the recoil on the ak-47 is very easy to control so i just want to put that out there first because you know everyone's going to have their own opinion of what attachments are better for recoil control but i just want to help you guys zero in on what are the absolute best
suppressed. So you can't go wrong with the Spesnaz, KGB, or the Gru Suppressor. Obviously, the recoil patterns are fairly good here. KGB gives us the best zero recoil here. But the only problem is that it reduces your shooting move speed. So obviously that's going to make you a lot slower in gunfights and that's not going to be good. You want to have max mobility, especially on assault rifles, which assault rifles do not have the greatest of mobility. Brew suppressor is okay. It gives you 100% muzzle flash concealment and 7% of vertical recoil control. However, it does reduce your effective damage range. So obviously we don't want to hurt anything that reduces our effective damage range. It's going to limit you to a certain play style. You're going to have to play up close and personal and basically use the AK-47 like an SMG. At that point, you might as well use the AK-74U. If I were to pick here, it would definitely be the Spetsnaz Compensator. So under barrel, your best bet is the Spetsnaz Grip or the Spetsnaz Speed Grip. But I do prefer using the Speed Grip mainly because it has, again, the least amount of cons that's going to affect our performance, mainly our mobility. With the Spetsnaz Grip, yeah, it does give us the best recoil control, but it does dramatically reduce our shooting move speed. So imagine if you use the KGB plus the Spetsnaz Grip, that shooting move speed is going to be reduced so much to the point where you're just going to feel like a slug when you're just engaging in gunfights. All right, so out of all these three choices here, if I were to pick between the two, it really just depends on the level of competition you're going against, you know, because sometimes you're going to go against some sweats and then sometimes you're going to go against average players. So if you're going to go against like average players and your competition is not that great, I would definitely go with the Spetsnaz Compensator and the Spetsnaz Speed Grip. And then if you are going to be going against sweaty competition and you absolutely need to be concealed, I definitely definitely do advise using the suppressor with the speed grip so suppressor and speed grip yeah you know it doesn't look like the best recoil pattern but again we're talking about the ak-47 here it doesn't matter what you put on it it's going to be easy to control from a practical sense so my choice is the suppressor plus the speed grip or the spetsnaz compensator and the speed grip so here we have a ttk comparison graph of all the assault rifles in the game we want to pay attention to the orange here which is the ak-47 now as you can see you know there really isn't much to say here the ak-47 and the fara 80 three have the fastest time to kill as far as assault rifles go in the game the lower the bar the better it is now there is a drop off here for the ak at 39 meters your ttk does increase to 400 milliseconds but you know that's not a big deal when you're putting on the vdv reinforced it's going to extend that all the way out to 70 meters so just imagine this orange line extending straight all the way out to here We're talking about a consistent 300 millisecond time to kill all the way out to 70 meters so uh, you can imagine you know compared to the other assault rifles in the game it makes all the other assault rifles in the game pretty much irrelevant at that point because the AK-47 and the Farah 83, their TTKs are pretty significant with the exception of the Groza. The Groza is actually still pretty good at 320 milliseconds, but why use that? When there are guns like the AK-47 and the Farah 83. So I'm going to provide you guys with two class setups. One's going to be a five attachment class setup and one is going to be an eight attachment class setup. So first let's go over the five attachment class setup, which personally, this is what I prefer. For the muzzle, we are going to be using the suppressor. Now I know this seems very counterintuitive to, you know, maxing out your damage range and, you know, maxing out your bullet velocity. But as you've seen in the testing, you know, the bullet velocity is still okay because it being an assault rifle we can reduce that bullet velocity and as long as we use other attachments to kind of mitigate that negative you know it's not really going to affect the performance of the gun too much if you're using your weapon and opponents can't see where you're at on the minimap that is huge in helping you survive as long as possible you could go with the spetsnaz compensator or the kgb eliminator if you do want to zero in on that recoil but however you know with the kgb eliminator you have to consider that shooting move speed negative to it you know you're going to be moving a lot slow and slow sluggish uh, whereas the compensator is a little bit better as far as mobility goes because it doesn't affect your speed but you know the only problem is that you are going to be exposed on the minimap so that's just something to consider now the main reason why we're using the vdv reinforce is because it's going to extend our damage range out to 70 meters which is pretty sufficient enough most engagements and multiplayer are going to happen within that 40 meter range anyway but in case you are going to get on a larger map having that 300 millisecond time to kill extended out to 70 meters is going to be huge and with that that puts the ak-47 very competitive with the fara 83 so for the underbarrel we're going with the spetsnaz speed grip Yes, you could use the Spetsnaz grip. That is another option out there for those who, you know, just have a lot harder time controlling that recoil. Mobility is one of those categories that assault rifles do lack in. Now, if we do add this attachment, this is going to help us move around the map a lot faster. And also, of course, this is going to help out with our horizontal recoil. 
So for the Spetsnaz grip, the other reason why I don't like it is because it dramatically reduces that shooting move speed at negative 26%. That's a lot. It's going to be really hard to track your opponent as you're shooting him because you're moving incredibly slow while the other person is most likely going to be dancing around you. Next attachment, we're going with the Serpent Wrap. Main reason why is because with the Gru Elastic Wrap, if you put it on, it's also going to reduce your shooting move speed. Again, we're trying to avoid attachments that do reduce that as much as possible. Trust me, if you avoid attachments that reduce your shooting move speed, you're going to find yourself having a lot more mobility. It's going to give you a lot more control over the weapon's performance. Also, the difference between the aim down sight time of these two attachments, the difference is really not that big. But on the Gru Elastic Wrap, it reduces both your shooting move speed and your sprint to fire time. So I would rather put the attachment that gives me the less amount of cons. Lastly, we're going to be using the KGB Skeletal Stock. This is going to help out with the sprint to fire time as well as our aim walking movement speed. Aim walking movement speed on the AK-47 is pretty slow in my opinion. So we do need to increase that. It's going to help us further improve our mobility on the AK-47. Now I'm sure you guys noticed that I didn't put on a magazine on the AK-47. The main reason why is because I do not want to reduce that ADS speed. So, you know, if ADS speed isn't really too much of a factor for you, you can literally use whatever magazine you want to here and just remove the KGB skeletal stock. All right, so here's my perk setup for the five attachment class setup. Now let's move on to the eight attachment setup. So eight attachment setup is pretty similar to my five attachment. So the muzzle is still going to be the suppressor. Barrel is going to be the VDV reinforced. Body is going to be the KGB target designator. You could use your steady aim laser if you want more hip fire accuracy. But for me personally, I like the target designator because it has no cons to it. And we're able to see opponents from a farther distance. And that's mainly just going to give you some information on how you should push the map. Uh, under barrel is going to be the Spetsnaz speed grip. Magazine is going to be the 40 round magazine. Handle is going to be the Serpent Wrap, and Stock is going to be the KGB Skeletal Stock. Consider leaving a like if you came here just for the class setup, I'd really appreciate it. And also, make sure to subscribe to make your way back to more Call of Duty content. So as for the rest of you, I will see you guys in the live gameplay. Let's go, baby. All right, so I'm deciding to kick off this gameplay with some really sweaty Nuketown gameplay. We cannot let our guard down whatsoever. We gotta be on high alert. Let's go here. They're, they're gonna, definitely gonna be pushing here. I hear his footsteps. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh, man. It's early in the morning right now. It's my first game of the day. Give me a break. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Yo, give me that. 100%. One hundred percent focus. All right, spawns a flip. Gotta watch our backs here. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. I am in a bad spot. They're gonna be here now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need this guy. Yes, we're definitely taking control. I'm gonna put this here. I'm on a nine. Let's go. Yeah, spawns are definitely gonna flip. They're coming in here now. Oh, that was close. Look at this guy just spamming that street sweeper. Come on. Okay, we got our war machine. Let's go inside. Don't want to use it just yet. Come on, come on. That is so unfortunate. War machine time. Get these kills. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to get the tag. I hope he's here still. There you go. Hey, at least we got the harp last second. 36 and 14. If you guys made it this far into the video, number one, you're an absolute legend. And number two, with that said, I do want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Gamer Advantage. These are the glasses I always wear in my videos. I wear them all the time and I always push it all the time in the ads at the very end of the video because it's a product I actually truly believe in. I've literally bought like three pairs for myself. Quick disclaimer, they've never sent me anything out for free, but the product is just that good. That's why I have so many different styles. And uh, I also do have one that's prescription because I do wear glasses as well. I might as well use Gamer Advantage glasses because they do help out with that blue light blocking technology. 
especially if you're always on the computer or you're gaming or you're on your phone all the time. And the coolest part is you can use them as sunglasses with these clips. So uh, definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com down below in the description. I'm just going to avoid the middle as much as possible. That's where I seem to, you know, get caught most of the time. So far, so good. Nice little flank there. I think someone's in this building. Nope. All right, teammate got that. I gotta watch my back. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna jump out. I'm gonna go around the side here. Because I, I think he saw me. That guy definitely saw me. It's always a good idea to switch your positioning. Oh my gosh. Gotta get this guy off B. Get out. Switching out my position on on these guys. Body armor available. Oh, yep, they see me. They definitely know I'm here. Oh, we gotta go. Is he gonna come out? Is he gonna come out on the side here? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Oh my gosh. Dude, I, I literally tried my hardest to stay alive right there. It's it's really, it's crazy, you know, positioning and just trying to outsmart your opponent. Just like that, man. Just like that. I made him, I made him like so confused right there. Bro. Got my harp, you know, it's a little too early. Should we call it in? You know, I don't want them to leave the game. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. We gotta back up. We're out of ammo. Put this here. I'm gonna put this here. Just watch my back. That's why gas mines are so crucial sometimes. I think someone's out here. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I had no choice there. Yeah, I'm just going to give a quick little plug. This would not be possible without G Fuel, which is what I'm literally drinking right now. The concentration is just on a whole nother level. So if you guys want to get some sample packs of G Fuel, check out the link down below in the description. I am sponsored by G Fuel, if you guys didn't know. Sorry for all the plugs today, man. But I kind of just have to... You know, share the benefits with you guys. Man, a slide canceling. So good. Wait, someone's right here in front of me. Sometimes you gotta hit fire if you can't see through the smoke. Oh my gosh. I think we could possibly go for a 60 kill gameplay. Let's go. Dude. The movement on the AK-47 is just absolutely cracked, man. Especially, like I was saying, do not hinder your shooting move speed. You're going to be in really good shape for these gunfights. Oh, that's so painful. That is so painful. Yeah, this head glitch is mean. Someone's at B. Alright, now we use this. They got that spawn protection. I'm gonna wait. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Oh no, I got stuck! Dude, using Ghost is so instrumental to your survival. Nah, nice shot. Alright, I'm gonna use this. Oh, look at this. Look at this, man. So many of them. Oh, 
Let's go up here. Oh, there's two people right here. One, two. Ah, oh, man, we could have had a three piece right there. Come on in. Yeah, you can't push because of my fire, right? Ah, uh, the shotgun. That's where they're going to be at. Oh my gosh. Put this little present there. Let's go back around this way. Okay, I got a kill with that. Nice. There's that gas mine kill. Someone is asking me, like, why I use that. It's definitely why to cover more ground. This could be easy kills right here. Is that a double? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Put that there, block that little pathway. I can go a certain way. Put this here, nice little present for him. Oh man, he got double team there. Woo, baby! 73 quit uh, 73 kills and 12 deaths dude sorry i'm a little too cracked right now off this g fuel but uh hopefully you guys did enjoy the gameplay man ak-47 definitely top tier uh if you guys want to see me do a comparison of the farah versus the ak-47 so you, you know in case you guys want to decide you know which gun is worth it for you uh let me know down below in the comments leave a like on the video support your small time youtubers man help us grow and make sure to subscribe make your way back to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one